Welcome back to Crusade of the Kings 3 and Game of Thrones. Now you're probably wondering, why am I in Tarth? Well, I promised a few days ago uh, that I would go in and check in on Brienne of Tarth. Uh, and I completely forgot yesterday whilst recording. So here we are. Let's go ahead and take a look at her. She is still alive. Her health is fine as well, even though she's 66 years of age. Look at how strong and robust. And she's had two children as well. She's actually married off to Titos Lannister at the moment. But both of her sons here are of House Tarth. Uh, so her lineage will be going on strong. And in fact, I've had children as well. The, the, the face structure, the DNA structure, though, I will say is a little bit interesting. Now, what are we going to be doing in today's episode? I want to be doing something over here with the Reach. Now, of course, who's in line for the Lord Paramount, see? Both of their children. So I wonder, if I get a marriage with, say, Lady Eleanor, and then we kill Lady Cara, or murder her, does that mean their children would inherit? Uh, I don't know if I have anyone available to, to marry off to right now. Yeah, we don't have any... We don't have any Danes to marry off to you, which is a little bit unfortunate. Maybe my son, when my son, if my son manages to have a son, we'll have to be... Take a look at that. But I'm going to continue with our schemes for now. We're, we're trying to murder Kara. Maybe I shouldn't murder Eleanor. So let's go ahead and cancel this one. We can go ahead and invite someone to this one as well for a little bit of gold, I assume. 150 gold. Let's do it. <laughs> so we're going to kill the second child. And hopefully get a betrothal here. But we need this betrothal before we murder, right? Otherwise... Yeah, otherwise the, the chance we're going to be able to marry off is very low. We don't have any Danes here. They are my grandchildren, but they're not of House Dane anymore. So uh, it wouldn't make sense to do this. In fact, it wouldn't make sense to kill the other one then yet, would it? Let's go ahead and unpause. We'll progress things. We'll work it out, I'm sure, uh, as things progress today. I reach into the bow and pluck out a juicy and plump blood orange, a native fruit of Dawn. One of the many perks of ruling in Dawn is the cheap access to such a delicious and quenching fruit. I peel the orange, tossing the skin into the bow, and I sink my teeth into the fruit. The juices flow all down my chin and dribble into my lap, but the taste, oh, the taste, it's so quenchy. So delicious. Anytime we gain any kind of stress, the Dornish fruit brings it right back down. So we're earning plenty of gold. We're on intrigue focus, we are. Dynasty head is flipping between me and the, and the Lannisteins. One of you did give me a suggestion to change the cadet branch name. I'm not going to change any of the names of the existing cadet branches. They've already made and they already exist in our law. But I would definitely welcome new suggestions. For example, we're going to need a Tyrell cadet branch possibly in the future. If there's one thing that Kara in particular cannot resist, it's her favorite treat. Oh, bon appetit, sweet Kara, lady of the reach. <laughs> oh dear, this is uh, turning into something. Kara is dead. She swallowed the bait, strawberry compote, and all. In no time at all, she was clutching at her throat, wheezing for air before collapsing into a small heap on the ground, never to get up again. All bakers in the area were questioned, but no trace of foul play could be found. I had to do it. I had to. Revenge is ours. And I just remembered, I literally just said we weren't going to murder her because now marriage here is going to be a little bit more difficult, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Minus 1,000 because it's patrilineal. So in that case, I guess we just go full steam ahead with our re revenge. I don't think I can... There we go. Let's remember where to click. I don't think I can murder her now, though, because we just tried to murder her. What I could do, if I can fabricate a hook on you, maybe I can convince them... Maybe I can convince them to a marriage in our f that favours us. Should we try and find secrets here? Or is it better to just fabricate hooks? I mean, we could fabricate a hook on her as well. Um, do we need to? I mean, we could fabric. We can't fabricate hooks on children. I could uh, offer her guardianship. <laughs> They're never going to accept that, are they? Okay, so let's. Okay, so we're, we're we're working on the reach. What about the stormlands? Can we get anyone here? We have the Selmies at the moment. Now, I would love to marry you off to a Dane. In fact, my daughter, Nicolette Dane, is of a similar age to you. Would you accept this? You would not accept. That's a minus six opinion. Matrilineal is definitely a no. Hmm. How can I... I can't give you a... I can't... I can gift you an artifact. 
But can I send you a regular gift? No, because I'm poor. Okay, of course I am. In that case, I'm going to keep you here. I can't sway you because you're a child. Let's wait until we get some gold. I'm going to gift you a gift of gold. And then hopefully we can put my daughter, uh, at least wife, to you. And then maybe we can also try and expand our reach up here, like such as the Riverlands. They have plenty of children. But unfortunately, I don't think they really plan to... They don't want anything to do with me. Yeah, you're a little bit too old, aren't you? And she's already betrothed. What's this? Ah, my player heir and son can now marry you. Right, let's send off the proposal. I need my son to have a children as soon as a child as soon as possible, ideally. To the Serene Ulrich, I gladly accept your marriage proposal. Your son and heir, Allard, and my sister Savina will be joined in holy matrimony. Excellent, very excellent. That's what I can want. We've got a little bit more gold now. Can I send you a gift yet? I need 168. Okay. The latest work of my acquaintance, Lady Phallus, has become all the rage at court of late. The piece deals with memory and what we leave behind, and Phallus has publicly dedicated it to me. What man does not hope to rest when tired, no matter his wealth and treasure acquired, and hope only for memory's grace, their time of conquest ended apace? Well, well, thank you, Lady Phallus. That was a very nice poem. Yeah, I can see this is truly heartfelt. Thank you very much. The poem is lauded. There we go. Excellent stuff. There's nothing going on down here, is there? Is there... There's a faction against my liege. We could deal with her as well. Look at that. That allied with uh, the arbor. We were, were considering doing a playthrough there at some point. The existence of my plot... Ah, oh, he's discovered it. Damn it. Curses. So we may as well cancel this then. It's not going to succeed, is it? We could focus, and uh, we've already done this. What I could do, what about the veil? They have children. If I can get a hook on you, maybe we can make use of this. That actually has a very high chance. What about the north? Can I get a, fa a hook on the Starks, maybe? If I can fabricate a hook there, maybe we can worm House Dane into one of those great houses too. Wait, What? Oh, the seven who are one? How could you do this to Allard? If I have sinned, why did you not punish me instead? He was blameless, my perfect son. Life had so much in store for him. He died from his internal injuries. Was that for fighting for me? Oh, he did not deserve this. He didn't have enough time to have a child either, I don't think. No child. So who's my heir now? My daughter? I only had one son. Oh, that's terrible. My other daughter died. She was slain in a duel. So this daughter is married off. Oh, this is terrible. They're not even of my house. Oh, dear. We have a situation brewing here. How old is my wife? My wife is 47. We're going to have no more children. In that case, you're married off patrilineally. That word. You're... Same as you guys. You're not yet. So if I can get my Nicolette here in for a patrilineal marriage, maybe if we're a little bit lucky. Oh, I can't designate heir because we don't have absolute crown authority. I can pass high crown authority, but I can't pass absolute crown authority until 8366. Uh, that's 20 years away. Am I going to live for 20 years? Probably not. Okay, this is a situation, you could say. Have you had any sons yet? Yeah, you've had two sons. So at this point, we would take over as another Dane, which is interesting. Let's negotiate an alliance with my daughter. Uh, I can... Ugh, five gold is not worth it, is it? <laughs> oh, what have I done? What have I done indeed? So if you inherit... Uh, we have Hightower, House Ball, House Rowan. None of these are House Dane. And I don't think there's any way we can change this, is there? Unless we had a son. I'm going to have to divorce my wife. I can't divorce my wife. He won't accept. What if I get a hook on you? Uh, I'm going to have to somehow get a hook on you opinion we have 
opinion of me is plus 32 so we could gain a little bit there but it's still minus 71 so who am i fabricating a hook against let's cancel the one against the star because we don't need that right now what i really need is a fabricator hook not within diplomatic range oh this is terrible i can send him a poem let's see uh a work about legacy strife a work detailing the incompetent no about that legacy why not Let's try and send him... Oh, the poem's mocked. Oh, he's lost opinion of me. This is terrible. Even if I sent him gold, he's only going to gain a tiny bit of opinion. What if I try to sway him? Why can I sway him if he's not within range? But this says you have... I'm not rival. Wait, what's this? You do not have a hook. And I have at least one of these. I said I wasn't within range, right? I think so. Okay, let's unpause. I, I'm unsure how we're going to do it. I've got myself into a terrible mess, as often happens on the channel. Greetings, my serene liege. I'm honoured by your request, and I'll be glad to call you an ally. Marvellous news, my daughter. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. This is terrible. So, we go to the High Lordship of Torrentine. Yeah, this is after my daughter. No Danes are here. Oh, my. I am happily sulking at the bathhouse, sharing deep reflections and salacious jokes with Lady Miria. As I feel all tension leaving my body, I realise well it's not just the warm water loosening my muscles. I'm generally having fun. And it's all because of Miria's company. Until we discovered our common passion for bathhouses, we hadn't had any chance to really interact or get to know each other that well. Now I really look forward to our regular rendezvous there, as they are always filled with laughter and merriment. Have we truly become friends? Or perhaps something more? She's fat. She could give me a, a child. We're going to seduce her. We need to seduce her. I need a child. And then I need to announce this child as mine. And it needs to be a son. <laughs> oh, dear. Of course, there's, there's going to be bills to be said. Well, you never should have let your son in there. Go into battle. It's fine. He wanted to make a name for himself as a warrior. Uh, sadly, he wasn't a great warrior. And now he's dead. <laughs> uh, before he bought me a child as well. Oh, dear. Nicolette. Can I find you a matrilineal marriage with a good alliance, at least? The high towers are here, so that could be something. Oh, the Tarlies. I mean, the Tarlies are much weaker. Yeah, the high tower, that would be a good alliance. How old are you? You're 14, though, so ideally you'd want someone a bit older, like maybe the Tarlies. Where are they? Yeah, they're in the reach as well, right? Yeah, they are. Hmm, in that case, maybe we just go with Normand. They would accept a matrilineal marriage. Now, is there any way I could make Nicolette... We would have to live 20 years. That's the problem. This is definitely a predicament, isn't it? Male preference. That's going to suck as well. Let's marry you off anyway. So at least we have a matrilineal marriage floating about in case we need it. We'll, we'll, it's a multi-step plan. We're going to work on it in small chunks. To the Serene Orlok, I gladly accept your patrol proposition. Excellent. That's one small problem solved. Uh, Laris here. Okay, we're going to unpin you. We don't care about you right now. We have other things to consider rather than revenge. I've been made aware that Lady Miria is very close to her brother and friend, Lord Luin. Gaining his favor might help me catch Miria's attention. I could help pay off his loans. Why not? We have the gold. It seems that Miria has not taken notice of my generosity. What? Uh, at least Luin's grateful. Come on. <laughs> I just helped your brother pay off 240 gold of his debt. That's insane. What's this? The Lord of Light? Neris, sir. Uh, I was going to say, Melisandre is uh, looking a bit different, but it's not her. One inauspicious night, you're left alone in your study, mulling over reports and the details usually left to lower men. Suddenly, your door cracks open, and without any ceremony, a woman walks in. She wears all red. red her hair is fire. And she speaks in a deep, strangely melodic voice. She is beautiful, alluring, and for a moment you wonder if you've been not falling asleep. But when you blink, she is still there. Can you give me a child? <laughs> the red woman tells you of a prophecy of a lord of light and the name you recognize from lessons long ago. Azora's High. The wielder of light to bring a born amid salt and smoke and the savior of the known world. Am I light bringer? Maybe. We, w we won't wield dawn, but what is this? She whispers into my ear, telling you that... The time has come for you to finally achieve your glories, to fulfill the auguries already seen in temples as far away as the shy. 
All you need to do now is seize it. I've never had this before. Uh, I must heed these signs, for the night is dark and full of treasure. We convert to the faith of the R'hllor? 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 I don't know how to say that. You guys will have to teach me. Uh, I must... Okay, and more besides... And, and she becomes my lover. Okay. I was joking, but if you... That's, that, that works. Guards... No. So we convert to the Lord of Light. Those who follow the teachings of the Red Priests and the ancient legends of a shy venerate flame shadow and sacrifice seeking to purge those who do not accept ruler's light until the time comes when azor hashai shall be born again amid smoke and salt to wake dragons out of stone Ooh, and she becomes my lover oh look at that she's a giant she's barren though <laughs> that's a little unfortunate but she is beautiful she's fire obsessed a holy sister she may not marry but doesn't mean she can't be my lover Yes, let's do it. We've converted our faith. This could be problematic. So we have a new bishop now. And she doesn't like me very much, right. But you might. So if I request a divorce now, it's not up to... It's not up to... Yeah, it's up to you now. I can divorce my wife and get a new wife. Because she follows the faith of the seven, maybe I can find someone who also believes in the Lord of the Light. In my later years, we swap to intrigue and then our faith changes. I'm seeing things I haven't seen before. I need to... Okay, we're going to divorce my wife. I need to find someone with the same beliefs as me. I can take concubines now as well. Oh, well, what, what is happening? So if I search here... I mean, we... Let's go purely for religion because that's what we're... That, that's our role play now. So we want the faith of Rolo. There's no one here. Ah. That's a little bit problematic for... <laughs> yeah, there's no one here. Oh, dear. Really? No one? Um, If I go to the character finder and I go to all uh, and we go to religion. There's a few people here. Okay. But are they within diplomatic range? They are. If we go to, to gender, let's go to female. Uh, of course, we want adults. Uh, we want unmarried. I think that's all we need here. And then if we go by, by age and we go youngest first. Look at that. Melisent Baratheon. She follows the, the true Lord, the Lord of Light. Would you like to marry me? She absolutely would not because we're divided by the wall. That's unfortunate. Would you? And you wouldn't come to my court either. <sighs> Even if I gift her, I don't think it would be enough, right? It's hard to get people to join your court. You're already my lover. That's good. But you are barren, which is a problem. What about Lara? Lara, would you, would you like to marry me? No one's available in your court. Oh, because you're a holy sister. Ah, that's the problem. They're all holy sisters. Ah. Okay, that's problematic. But there's no reasons why I can't seduce them. <laughs> Look at that. They're all beautiful as well. Uh, okay, uh, let's go ahead and seduce you. 0% chance... Who? Oh, I'm already seducing someone, though, right? I, I already have a seduction. Oh, Miss Yudo. Yeah, we're gonna... Okay, we can cancel. If we can find someone to, su to seduce. What about you? Would you like to be seduced? 35% chance. You're beautiful as well. Are they all sterile? I think that's part of the law in Game of Thrones, right? They lose their ability to reproduce. But it's only minus 50% fertility. We still might be able to have a child here. She's got okay prowess as well. What about if we find some more... Mm, Arana? Yeah, look, they're all sterile. I think... I'm pretty sure that's a law thing. Let's stick with Adila. Unless... Unless if we go here. If we, if we can find someone with a higher chance. Yeah, that's 0%. So obviously not you. What about you? 5% chance. Okay, we're, we're going to stick with... Was it Lara or Adila? I think it was Adila. Adila, yeah, I invite you to my to my court. And we can have hopefully 
some fun together. Right, we need a new wife now, though. <laughs> oh dear. Do we marry into the Tyrells? Ramella Tyrell would accept the marriage. Are you even close to succession? I don't think so. Not even close, right? Lady Galissa of the Reach, if she inherits, which we can definitely make that happen. Unfortunately, she doesn't have any children that are suitable. Hmm. It would be nice to have the Reach as an ally, but I'm not sure that's what we want. Instead, we could totally ignore this. And what we could do is find someone who's Amazonian. We have two targets here and then that way maybe we can have we can try and have a son who can wield dawn estelle here's 33 she's amazonian let's try let's marry let's marry estelle she can bear us a child or two and hopefully a son we're gonna fix everything it's all working out lord paramount merrick of the Vale is a complicated man i need to understand him as well as possible if i am to convince people to take my side in any upcoming argument uh, do you know what? I will soon uncover the truth of him. People describe him as both modest and spineless, which tells me more about their relationship to him than anything else. Also, a curious number of people mention how often he glances down and talks about his friends. I'm sure this information will be useful. Thank you very much. Now, I'm getting sidetracked. Another thing you guys wanted to see is the, the history of the, the Lordship of Harrenhal. And I think we can do this. Where is it? Title history. There we go. We wanted to see how uh, it fell out of the Wentz hands. So, of course, the Wentz had it here. Uh, and then it, it transferred over to the Far Winds. So, you died from your wounds. And you never married. So, who was your parents? Your parents. House Farwind. House Farwind. So, how did you come about to, to inherit this? I don't think we're ever going to know. He was brutally mauled, though. So you died for your wounds, uh, and then it's it stayed in the far wind's hands for a long time. Oh, look. Oh, you're my prisoner. <laughs> we have a child prisoner as well. And then, of course, we inherited it, and now it passed down to House Dane. Uh, so some funky business happened there. Right, let's unpause the game. We need to let things catch up now. To the Serene Ulrich, I accept your marriage proposal. You'll be joined with my acquaintance, Estelle. Excellent. Now, I would seduce you, my new wife, but... I'm already seducing a red priestess. I would be delighted if your daughter Nicolette could visit my court. Because I'm callous, I must decline. Uh, wife, I must demand your conversion, though. If you wish to stay in my bed, uh, you must convert to the, the one true faith. And speaking of which, we need to convert the faith. Look at that, Aaron there. Let's go ahead and convert Starfall. How long is that going to take? Uh, I should have read. Oh, I should say it here anyway, right? Eight years! It's not too bad. It's quite a long time, but can I swap you out? I can't. Okay, that's fine. We should probably sway her as well. Maybe I can gift you some gold? Yeah, I don't think I can gift her gold. That's fine. Right, let's unpause again. Lady Estelle converted. Okay, so my wife has converted. That's good. What about my children? My children! Condemn sins. W would you demand conversion? And she would accept without a hook as well. Let's go ahead and demand conversion of all my children. We're, we're following the Lord of Light. There we go. And my daughter here, uh, I want to invite you to my court. Let's see. I can uh, allow marriage if I wanted to. Fabricate hook. I can't invite her to my court. Okay. I can't demand conversion either, can I? Unfortunately not. Why Why has she sinned? Oh, I have uh, at least as many traits as her. Not, not quite sure. There we go. My children are all converting to the true faith. What about my brothers? Brother, will you, will you convert to the true faith? Unfortunately, uh, he wouldn't actually come to my court. Uh, and this brother as well uh, won't accept to come to my court as well. Some of you told me to invite my brothers, but alas, it seems I cannot. Uh, night has been improved. Very nice. I wonder what my liege will think. <laughs> my liege! 
Oh, I can't ask her. She wishes to join my faith. That's fine. Anyone can buy a token of affection, big or small. If I want to impress Adila, I should send her something truly special. Do you know what? I think she would accept uh, a rare book. Because I think they seek knowledge. So let's go ahead and, and find a rare book. And we'll gift that to her. Greetings Lord Ulrich of Torrentine. Thank you so much for the rare book you gave me. I can scarce remember the last time I received such a wonderful gift. Anything for you Adila. How is our success chance? Like 50% chance now. Lady Esther is pregnant as well. Please a son. Fix my problems the Lord of Light. I have I've come to you. I've recognized that you're the one true God. <laughs> Please bless me with a son. My steward has sent me a report detailing how a severe sandstorm has damaged some orchards and groves in my domain. According to the report, it would take a few months, perhaps even the rest of the year, to cull the damaged plants and repair the damage to the canals. Oh dear. I mean, spare... Oh, that's a lot of gold. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have to repair it, but we can't afford to splash too much of our gold here. While I was at the market with Nicolette, her attention was caught by a criminal chained in the pillory. Nicolette watched him for a while when he did nothing but cough and beg for water. Nicolette rolled her eyes and kept on walking. She's callous just like her father. Good on your daughter. That's what we want to see. I can take concubines as well. Uh, none of them are really... They don't have any inheritable traits though, do they? Which is rather unfortunate. You are managed domain. Yeah, let's keep your managed domain because I need to, to keep all three. I have noticed your interest in the arts of subterfuge, my lord. I might be able to help you to learn even more. Ah, my Castellan, Alaran. Do you lead the way? Teach me, my friend. I wish to become a better spy master. Oh, wait, better at intrigue. Traveling Dawnless magician performing for my court has played a tune so hauntingly beautiful that I cannot forget it. Dressed in his Samite robes and his linen headscarf, the musician played his ode as if he and the instrument were too long and storied lovers. The way he plucked for instrument strings was simply blissful. I'm sure this man would be playing for the Seven one day. The Seven? <laughs> uh, we lose some stress. I hope he doesn't stop. <gasps> oh, it's a grandson. But he's my new heir. Who's your parents? Oh, <gasps> my son. You got a pregnant before? Cedric. Cedric, the chosen child. Come to my court. I mean, I'm going to educate you as well, actually. No, I'm not. I'm going to find you someone good to educate you. This is... Okay. So... If I remember off the top of my head, let's let's reset all of this. Uh, we can do this uh, inside diplomatic range, right? We need someone who's brave. Brave is a good trait for a knight. Uh, just is also a good trait for a knight. And I forget what the third one is, but we'll just look at brave and just. Uh, and maybe I'll find someone here. Let's sort by prowess. I want someone who's very good. Ah, we need a formidable fighter. Formidable fighter. And we need someone with a good martial education like this a brilliant general that's the one there's only one man i'm for oh you're lazy we don't need lazy though lord jeremy of the needle water would you come to my court you won't but i do offer you guardianship of my son no i offer you a ward not not guardianship i'm going to offer you my son and heir why can't I offer you my son and heir? Oh, my grandson. It's not my son and heir, is it? Oh, in that case, I do need to invite my my grandson. We'll, we'll get there, guys. Don't worry. Okay. My, my grandchild, I invite you to my court. He's going to accept. Let's, let's wait for him to arrive. His little legs might take him a while. The sun is shining and peasants are milling about the tawny hosted by my wife. All my captains cheer as Lady Esto announces a tournament in her honor. And for once, I get to simply sit and watch. I am, a, I am not going to spend an entire tawny day stuck to a throne, however. Um, yeah, I too cheer for my captains. There we go. And my grandson has arrived. Cedric Dane. What a name. You're going on martial focus. That's a given. Uh, and now, where, where's the man that we found? Lord Jeremy here. I'm going to offer you a ward. My grandson, please do a good job. Where, where, where is the man? What, Lord Jeremy? Why is Jeremy not here? I don't actually know why Lord Jeremy hasn't shown up. Uh, he's not interested. He already has two wards. Damn it, we were too slow. 
in which case so we're already brave i think honest was the other trait right so we get rid of brave uh, and we go for honest do we have anyone who's just an honest we have a few but none see you're learning your diplomacy you're learning holland here possibly but he's only free he's only a skilled tactician but it's the best we can do unfortunately do you have any wards you don't have any wards so let's oh we can click here look how quick this is i'm still learning new things would you teach my grandson you would i'm going to pin you as well so i can keep an eye on you and then he's gonna get honest and just maybe stubborn let's send the proposal and then what I can also do, my grandson, where are you, is I can, I can't do it. Oh, I can demand conversion. Let's do that. I can't instill traits on you right now, can I? I think you have to be of a certain age, maybe three or six. Greetings, my implacable liege. I hereby invite you to a feast at my court in the broken elbow. Ah, uh, of course I would join you, Lord Desmond. It would be my pleasure. It's been a while since I've been to a feast of Halstein. Every guest is gathered in the great hall and our gracious host, Lord Desmond, has welcomed us all to the feast. I look forward to this. My grandson is now setting off as well, I think, to go ahead and be educated. To the Serene Ulrich, we are happy to accept your proposed education arrangement. A noble upbringing for a noble spirit. Very excellent. He's already sickly. No... Please don't die, my son. <laughs> the existence of my plot to fabricate a hook has been discovered. Ah, curses. It still has a high uh, success chance, though, so we'll keep with that. After having spoken over dinner for a while, Marcia leans over to tell me that she finds it impressive how knowledgeable I am. Oh, she recognizes true intellect. Oh, yeah. Marcia is... Oh, you're the daughter of Lord Desmond. Okay, we're related. Uh, I'm going to hold back what I was about to say before that. <laughs> oh, dear. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself in deep conversation with my faithful Admiral Lord Desmond. He inquired about my opinion on friendship, a subject he is deeply interested in himself. I'm more interested in you, Desmond. You're a very interesting man and I'm enjoying your feast. Oh, he's discovered that I'm the one behind the hook fabric. Ah, oh, we don't care. He's all the, way, all the way in the north. Oh, my son, my grandson died. Ah, <laughs> oh, he died from... How did he die? From being sickly. He wasn't the chosen one. Damn it. It's fine. We're going to have another son. What a feast. I remember the day spent in Lord Desmond's halls for a long time to come. Now it is time to wash off the traces of merriment and wine and once more resume my duties as Lord of the Realm. Farewell, my Admiral. Oh dear, this is terrible. War declared on Liege. Oh dear. Declared on King Robert. Okay, we need to take a look at this one and decide where we stand. Lady Sorella of Rollingford has risen up against King Robert II of the Iron Throne in the war against the tyranny of King Robert. I must choose to stand with King Robert. How? Okay, how are. What's this looking like? Are Dawn loyal? Are Dawn loyal? Ah, the Lannistanes are loyal. And the... What are these guys called? I've completely forgotten now. Um, but yeah, Yinnis is also loyal. The... What, what was the name? I, I know the name. Nimiros Dane. There we go. I couldn't remember Nimiros. In that case, I'm going to follow my liege. Even though I'm not a fan of the Baratheons anymore. So I support... I, I'm going with my liege. Yeah, I support. I'm in the war with my liege. Whether we go and march with them or not to vote is a different question. Look at that. We definitely have the numbers advantage. Let's. We were already doing that. We can declare war on Lady Arryn. We have a claim, or Sylvina has a claim, on the Lordship of Goldenfield. Where are you? That's up here. We might push that in the next episode, actually, because we're. We're nearing the end of today's. So let's go ahead and, and look at this first. The celebrations had come to an end and the evening's entertainment seemed to be over when Adila suggested a reading. A clerk soon arrives wondering what the guests would like to hear and I see my chance to impress her. I think something pious would please her. As the clerk reads for us, Adila seemed completely engrossed. She later approaches me. Good choice, Ulrich, she says, and takes a bite of biscuit. It was great, wasn't it? Look at that. We're going to have definitely 
That child has to be the chosen one. We can demand payment. That's only five gold. What about you? One gold. Wow, that's not really worth it. Okay, that's ended in a bit of chaos. The North and the Veil are staying neutral, I think. In the next episode, we're going to join my liege. No, we're not going to fight in this. Even though we declared allegiance to my liege, we are going to declare war on the Golden Fields. Because that's some more land to Harrenhal, and that contributes to our dream of connecting our lands to Harrenhal, and then we can surround the Reach. That sounds good, but that we're going to have to do that one in the next episode. Thank you for watching, guys, as always. If you want to see more, remember to click on the like button, and I'll see you next time.